Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and a medium here and I'm here to give some type of messages from beyond. Hopefully this does help and resonate with someone out there. Let's just get into it as well. So, alrighty. I feel that somebody who has passed, I do feel a male energy with that King of Wands, could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sag, is very determined to, I literally heard, stop and say hi, uh, meaning communicate. I feel that they have a little bit of interference with that. It's frustrating because they can't like communicate as well as they did while here on Earth, meaning that the spouse here uh, cannot hear them. I am picking up a relationship I feel that their passing came to a sudden, I just heard sudden halt, uh, meaning that it was a very sudden passing here. That they could have been working, okay? I'm feeling a heart attack, a massive heart attack I'm feeling here uh, that took place during work, okay? This is definitely in regards to a spouse, a wife. I feel like he's trying to communicate and say she didn't know how to handle it. She didn't know what to do. She was very, very lost. Uh, she played it cool, but mentally uh, really affected her life. She was very, very stressed and everything. I feel that that determination will follow through. I do feel that uh, you will sense his energy around you for sure. Your energy, your confidence in knowing that spiritually speaking, he is definitely around you, will definitely help heal your energy. You got the star as well as the four swords. That's very, it's not just a wish fulfillment, but I feel more so healing energy, which I feel will grow that energy of knowing that he is with God, that he is on the other side here for sure. I literally hear a female voice, so I feel this is the wife's voice that is watching this, or hopefully watching this, in regards to, you know, having a tough time getting out of bed, trying to live life here, literally saying, I don't know what to do, okay, uh, and then just kind of, just living life tough, you know, energy here, because all you want to do is just basically regain balance back in your life again, you know, you want that happiness again. You want to hear from him again. Absolutely. You would give anything I just heard to, to hear him or see him, I heard, as well. It could have been an air sign with that King of Swords energy, but I really feel that you're really focusing on wanting to see this sign for sure. He's definitely not battling anymore. He's very happy, you know. I feel that there was a lot of stress with money as well, you know. I do feel that there was an um, insurance policy or what have you, but I feel that uh, he hopes that this helps. So I do feel that there was a little bit of a money struggle, uh, you know, when you guys were married here, but I feel that there was some kind of policy uh, that went through that you received some kind of money. <laughs> I don't know what kind of face I just did, but the message was funny. Or not funny, but I can relate to it. Don't give money to family. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I literally heard that loud and clear. It wasn't even friends. It was don't give money to family. Okay. He is released. You know, I, I feel like I feel like he was a very stable gentleman. I feel that he tried his hardest, you know. There was definitely a struggle with money. I'm feeling that there was a lot of stress in his life, but he handled it quite well. But I feel that there's like nothing like that on the other side. Uh, death is a whole new beginning, basically, is what this tells me. And that he's going to be successful. Whoops. Sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> and he's going to be successful in not just loving it there, but he's very determined to show, to express his love to you. He's going to find a way. I, I just feel like it's hard for him. He knows how to do it. He's gifted that way, definitely picked up fast, how to 
uh, communicate, how to uh, do the tricks of the trade, I heard as well. Uh, but I do feel that, meaning that they, they have to learn, you know, it's like a whole nother language, a whole nother way of living to communicate to us here. But I feel that, uh, you know, it was very sad energy and struggling energy for the wife here that her vibration level was low, you know, and it was hard to communicate to her because of that. Clarify that, please. I do feel that he is encouraging uh, his wife here to uh, move. I literally feel like a U-Haul moving thing. I do feel that you do talk to him about this uh, subject. Why don't I just, oh. Okay, I heard two states here. So I don't know if there's a debate of whether or not that's a huge difference. I heard Arizona and I heard New York. So there was uh, some kind of type of conversation. I feel that you are speaking to him. Should I move here? Should I move there? Now that could have just been, you know, uh, idea, suggestion, you know, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be those states, but definitely I feel that, um, yeah, definitely there's communication to have that drive to make a decision to go, you know. I do feel if you save a little bit more money, I would I would go. I'm feeling that he wants you to go here. Absolutely. Make sure that nobody stops you. I do feel that there's going to be like an outside source. I'm really feeling it's a female energy that's going to have an issue with you moving. Oh. Um, sorry, they bring up stories from my past and I got the waterworks from my mother-in-law like years ago my husband was still alive you know we were we just had our first son you know and she started crying and she's like if anything happens to ken actually she used to call her kenny or call him kenny uh you know i would be worried that debbie would move and and i would never see my kids again and it's been 10 years since i've been a widow uh, and I'm still at the same house. So I really want to move myself. <laughs> so I get that type of energy. Don't be persuaded by a female energy. I'm feeling that too with the female energy. You know, you got to live your life. And I feel that that's the message that's coming from him. And yes, I am packing things up and fixing my house to move. <laughs> now, after 10 years. He is very determined. He does check in on you from time to time. I don't feel that he's the type that will come up behind you and say boo, or you'll hear your name being called or whispered, I should say, or what I get a lot is, hey, but it's whispered like, hey, you know, I hear that a lot going around my house, but I, I feel like he doesn't want to freak you out, but he is trying his hardest to express his love. He sees you crying more so at night when you're trying to sleep. Definitely look some hours of sleep there. Absolutely. I feel that you feel a little ripped off. Okay. Kind of very, very lost without him here. Uh, and oh, no, no, no. We don't want to go into depression here. So be careful what you're thinking here. Stay around, you know. Uh, yeah, no, definitely not. Oof. You two will reunite, but not yet. Okay, absolutely not yet. Uh, yeah. So even spirits and your, and your husband here is definitely saying don't, don't do anything, uh, wrong. Okay, I have to watch what I say on here, but I'm hinting to obviously, you know what I'm talking about, I'm hoping. Uh, but yeah, so don't go anywhere, definitely. Find some counseling, uh, but just know you can talk to him too. I, I get, like I said in the other video not long ago, I was like, everybody, like not everybody, but there's a few people that ask me like, hey, can you say this to, you know, whomever? And I'm like, no, you can. <laughs> I'm like, all right, I will. But, but no, they want to hear from actually you, you know? Uh, and they look forward to that. You can definitely talk to spirit. Absolutely. You know? So. I do feel that you will feel some kind of comfort by somebody speaking to you. Absolutely. But there is a lot of uh, depression here. You have the Nine of Swords, Seven of Swords, Eight of Cups, Eight of Wands, and the Devil. 
So the devil isn't like evil or anything. It's just toxicity of the mind, you know, of making a decision here uh, to move forward um, from this life, if we'll put it, phrase it that way. So definitely signs, and that nine of swords is like nightmare stage. I feel like you didn't, the wife here, didn't uh, feel like... Um, We got to be careful what we say here, dude. <laughs> uh, didn't feel like life was worth it anymore. I'm just repeating. Uh, but yeah, uh, definitely stand strong. You know, know your power here. You could be a Libra as well with that justice. I am picking that up. But tough times ahead. Really think through uh, your decision here with that. Okay, and definitely seek help as well. Yeah, definitely uh, that term like uh, time heals all wounds, somewhat true. <laughs> it's just a matter of how much time, but there is no required amount of time, you know, uh, for the healing process. Absolutely not. Definitely try to get out of the house and not saying go to bars or, you know, live in the, the good life here. But, uh, you know, just enjoy yourself. Get out in nature, I feel. There's something about the sun. I do feel that you should definitely, you have a front porch. Go sit out on the, I feel like you should go out and sit out on the front porch uh, on nice days, you know, where the sun shines and everything. Your strength, your uh, intuition of being able to hear, feel his energy definitely will be activated more. Queen of Cups is water sign energy. A Scorpio Cancer Pisces, but she's known as the intuitive one. So I feel that you're going to kind of look, and then looking at that Ace of Wands, it's kind of like, I'm going to show the action. I'm going to raise my vibration. I'm going to be stronger in my beliefs. I'm going to be stronger in the afterlife here. And I'm really going to be up and up kind of energy to be able to feel more his energy for sure. Just know that he is definitely... Uh, on the other side, absolutely. I feel like he visits you at night. I don't know what this means, but I feel like he um, is he, he's showing me a, a rose, a red rose. Uh, and he sees you, I feel, in your living room. Uh, they're showing me in the living room here. Uh, and the hand, he's handing you this rose. So rose to me, red rose means that he offers his love to you, his apology. But I am feeling that his passing did take place at work. I do feel that. Things are going to be better. He's gonna, You're going to feel more and more his energy here. He does apologize. He does love you for, uh, I just heard, his short stay here, uh, you know, with this marriage, um, you know. So definitely things will improve. Just work on your energy absolutely is what he wants and really meditate as well and get out in nature nature will heal your energy uh for sure it's a grounding type of energy so definitely keep that in mind but that is what i have for whomever this is meant for thank you all for watching i do appreciate it and i'll talk to you soon bye